Hare Krishna. The Gita's purpose is not to proclaim God's position, but to transform man's disposition. Sometimes people who read the Bhagavad Gita feel that why does Krishna again and again speak about his own glories? How he is the source of everything, nothing can exist without him. He is the underlying thread of truth in everything. So they may feel that why is Krishna proclaiming his own position so much? To understand this, we can look at the conclusion of the Gita. The last verse of the Gita, 18.78 states, Yatra Yogeshwara Krishna, Yatra Partho Dhanurdhara, Tatra Shreer Vijayo Bhutir, Dhruvani Tirma Tirmama. Says that wherever there is Krishna, the Supreme Mystic, and where there is Arjuna, the Supreme Archer, there there will be victory, power, opulence, morality, and all prosperity. Now, this may raise a question actually, wherever Krishna is, these things will be there. Krishna is God, he is a lord of the goddess of fortune. So wherever Krishna is, fortune will be there. So why does the Bhagavad Gita have to include Arjuna or uh, human beings over there? If Arjuna represents every man, Arjuna represents all of us, why does the Gita have to include all of us? That is because the Gita's purpose is not to proclaim God's position. That is eternally what it is. Uh, Gita's purpose is to transform man's disposition, our disposition. And that's why it states where Arjuna the archer is ready to fight the war, that is where there will be victory. The point of the Gita is to inspire us to harmonize with the divine will by understanding how that will is for our ultimate good. To the extent we understand Krishna's will, to that extent we will harmonize with it. And for understanding Krishna's will, not in terms of its specifics, which we can never understand, but in terms of understanding its overall benevolent purpose. To understand that, we need to understand Krishna's position. If a doctor tells oh, what all qualifications they have, and if that inspires the patient to take the treatment, and then it is said, wherever this doctor and this patient, are to, wherever there is a competent doctor and a cooperative patient, there there will be the cure. So that is the essence of the conclusion of the Gita. And thus the Gita's purpose in describing God's position is to inspire a transformation in man's disposition. So similarly, when we study the Gita, th instead of thinking that Krishna is bragging, we can say that, see that Krishna is actually inspiring us to harmonize with his will. And if we learn to harmonize with his will, we will find that the supreme fulfillment will attain, will be waiting for us in our life journey too. Thank you. Hare Krishna.